Hey there, best boys. Welcome back to the channel. As always, I'm Ray. There's Foxy. And today we're looking at Cruella. Cruella is the latest live action uh, remake of a classic Disney property where they put the villain of the original as the hero of the new one. And I gotta say, this one's not bad. It, I think it's the best one they've done. Not saying much. Did I enjoy this movie? Yes. Do I want a sequel and more of these live actions? No. No, I do not. Let's let's put the kibash on this, Disney, please. Clearly running out of ideas. But before we get into the review, if you feel like it, go down and subscribe so you can stay up to date when I put out a video sometimes. And let me know down in the comments what you thought of the movie Cruella. Estella has a lifelong passion for fashion, and thanks to her two friends, lands a job with the best in London's high fashion industry. However, she learns her new boss had a very sizable role in an early life tragedy and sets out to take revenge on the woman and maybe her Dalmatians? Hmm? So I'll get to the cast in a second because that's a big component of this, but my god, does the wardrobe department deserve, I don't know, maybe an Oscar? Because the costumes were fantastic. I love them. They were so cool and unique and set in the 70s time period pretty well, I thought, with a, you know, a Disney Cruella DeVille twist. I thought it was really good. Aside from the costume, the movie is also visually stunning in a lot of the settings and set pieces and the CGI dogs I kind of like. I know a lot of people don't like them, but the one scene I thought was really cool in particular was where they kind of have like a rock concert where Cruella is trying to intimidate her boss. Really good looking. It's good looking stuff, guys. Emma Stone, fantastic as this version of Cruella, and a lot of reviews are going to mention that she's kind of Joker-like because she kind of is in this movie, and I'm not too opposed to that, but that's a thing. Emma Thompson, a little confusing, there's two Emmas, but she's really good as this character that, in reality, kind of plays a more classical version of Cruella in the movie Cruella. It's a little odd, but it works. Except she does seem to be a lot more evil and a lot of really dark deeds are implied here that she's done in her past. So, I mean, I think in that respect, she's worse than the original Cruella, who just wanted to skin some dogs for a coat instead of, you know, multiple homicides, maybe? I love the side characters, too, like Cruella's, too. They're friends in this movie, like lifelong friends. In the originals, they're like her henchmen. But again, in here, they're kind of her family. And I really like them. The one in particular who was the best friend from yesterday, the movie, the Beatles movie. He was pretty good in here. It took me a little while to place him. There's also one of her friends I really liked who the best way to visually describe him would be if there was a Pinocchio-like doll in Bloodborne and he became a real boy and went on to love fashion in London. So I do believe this guy is definitely supposed to be like an homage to David Bowie. And Amanda tried to correct me, looked it up, and exclaimed that, no, he's an homage to Ziggy Stardust. To which I had to inform her that Ziggy Stardust is a character created by the late Goblin King. So you're wrong, Amanda. Again. But also, also right. But whatever. <laughs> so super minor spoilers for here because there was a component of this movie that was giving me anxiety throughout and I feel like a couple other people might get anxiety in this aspect as well. No dogs, physical or CGI, are harmed in this movie whatsoever. Don't worry, we don't gotta call Keanu on this one. So the music in the movie. I liked the selection, just not the implementation. It feels very... Suicide Squad, when they were trying to go for uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. There's no real like rhyme or reason for why the songs are used where they are, as far as I can tell. They were just popular songs during the 70s, I think is when the movie's supposed to take place. Honestly, I think my biggest problem with this movie is Cruella's very sudden turn in her attitude and her overall personality, and even the way that she treats her friends who she's been friends with for like 10 years, I think it's supposed to be in this movie. She just becomes Cruella and starts treating them like the henchmen from the previous films. So, wasn't really a fan of that. I wish it was a little more subtle. It could have been a lot better. She also has these reveals to try to get her friends back on her side, where she's like, I just found out that this happened in my past, and like a 
an hour later, it's like, I just found out this happened. And then another 30 minutes later. But this is really what happened. And I, it, it just felt a little redundant with those reveals. They really could have condensed them down maybe to like two. Like a, a past what she thought happened. And then like, oh my god, this is everything that really happened. I think that would have been a lot better. The story itself I really liked. It was very engaging. Had a great pace. Even if the movie is a little too long in my opinion. There's definitely some things that could have been cut out. But it's a pretty good revenge tale. Amalgamation of Joker. Dalmatians. Uh, the Devil Wears Prada. Ocean's Eleven. It, it's all wrapped up in there. In a very enjoyable movie. Again. If just a little too long. All that being said, I did really enjoy my time with this movie. It's a great amalgamation of all those different types of films I just mentioned. But I really don't want any more live actions, Disney, please and thank you. Cruella gets a 7 out of 10. There is a mid credit scene, and it sort of sets up a potential sequel, even though I really hope they don't go with a sequel for this. Again, please don't do this, Disney. But it brings back a character that we knew had some roots in the original films, and maybe a character we didn't know had some roots in the original film. And it was a pretty sweet mid credit scene. I really enjoyed it. And that's my review of Cruella. I, it's definitely worth a watch. It's not a bad movie by any means. It's pretty enjoyable. It's a nice twist on the character. Good time. As always, thanks for watching the video, guys. It means a great deal. You continue to watch the videos when I do put them out, sometimes on occasion. If you wanted to, go down and subscribe. If you're feeling saucy, hit that like button. And also let me know what you thought of Cruella down in the comments. Thanks for watching, everybody. See ya. Where'd you go? What are you doing back there? What are you doing?